Hey everyone, we're here at the Octopus Stand, and Octopus is a new project by VMware, which was launched at VMworld US. I'm here with Frank to tell us a little bit more about it. So Frank, can you show us a little bit more about the product and yeah. what it does? Yeah, no problem. Just let's make up a use case. For example, if Virginie is entering the room and just want to take a picture of her because she's really nice looking woman, let's grab the picture, done with the iPad, change over to my Octopus client, and just doing an upload of her file I just took as a cam, and now it's just being uploaded already. Just a few more seconds and it's done. And this is being synchronized directly onto the web, which we can see here. Uh, here we go to the pictures area where I uploaded them. And you can already see, here she is. But that's not the end, it's just an online area. We're having already a max synchronization. We're having here these small eyes, which are the octopus and it's already synced down to my Mac. And that's Project Octopus, easy up and running. Perfect, so I can access my files from anywhere, which sounds really amazing, but this must be some complex technology. So how does a customer get hold of it? What does he have to do to really use this technology? As long as you can click on a download link, it's easy going because it's just an appliance you download and it's all up and running. Okay, but as I can see, there's a lot of different applications. So how can people access these files if they don't have access to the applications themselves? It's quite easy. If you're changing over to the online client, what we can do, we are doing a rendering on a server-based system. For example, if you're having a PDF file, it's being rendered on the server and being presented. The same what we can do, for example, with a PowerPoint. It's directly in a preview being generated so where you can see it. Um, one more thing we are having, and it's even from a collaboration point of view quite interesting. If you're having a document, we can do versionizing. We're having different versions of the system where you always can step back and forward and we can even leave commands. So if I want to add a command here, just let's call it checked. Just writing something, add the command, and this is directly being attached to the system. So you're having versionizing of the thing and you're having commands so the people just can leave and you even can share these areas, these files with external people who are not on your own system because what we can do with external people, we auto-generate accounts for them and it's even not done, even not counted against the licenses. Wow, that sounds really good and it's even going to save me money. I can't wait to get my hands on this technology. Well, as we know, it's still a tech preview, so we'll have to wait a little bit before it's available. But uh, keep the website in, in mind and check back on VMware.com and uh, make sure you know as soon as it's available so you can start taking advantage of this cool technology. Thanks a lot. Hey everyone, a piece about end user computing wouldn't be complete about showing how technology can really change the life of an end user. And wouldn't it be cool if you could use VMware's slide rocket to change your future and get into contact with maybe your dream employer. And Hannah is just one person that did that. And Hannah, can you talk us through how you did that? Slide rocket is the newest, better way to create your best presentation online and stand out. Now, because slide rocket lives online, person who gets the link will always get the most updated copy of your presentation. So let me show you a quick example of how I use SlideRocket. And I'm hired, I'm here at VMworld in Copenhagen representing SlideRocket VMware. And just so you know, SlideRocket is now available on your iPad. So go and get your dream job, create your resume on SlideRocket. Perfect, thank you very much. And as she said, go and create your resume and get your dream job. Good luck.